Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Panzoid video it's editor. No, I won't stop. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, basically, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Panzoid video editor. Um, I'm going to try to go over everything, but if this make you still want me to talk about, just say in the comments. Um, but before I get into it, um, there's been problems like where once you finish downloading your Panzoid intro, you can't actually put it into the editor. And the reason for that is that the file size, um, the file um, type that the um, intros are come in is MKV and for some reason Panzoid doesn't accept their own format. So it, you have, it has to be MP4, which you can't do obviously. So to change that, you just go into this website I found. It's like um, MKV to MP4. And then, then you just look, you look for this one. Here it is, video.online, I don't know, some crap. And then you just click on it. It'll take you to here. And then, then you go, um, choose the file you want, the intro. So I chose my intro. Um, as you can see, it's MKV. Um, so now you want to scroll down, just, I wouldn't recommend changing any of that stuff. Convert file. So my video is nearly done. Um, well, it is done now. So it'll take you to this page where it should automatically, well, finish processing, which won't take long at all. Well, it should not, but for me it doesn't. Yep, see, just done. And then it just automatically downloads and yep, there you have it. So put it somewhere on your desktop and yeah. So I put it on my desktop. I have it downloaded. Now it's in MP4. So now you go on the video editor and I'll go back to adding your intro in a second, but now let's just talk about like the video settings. Well, Basically, if you're doing a long video and you know it's going to be a long video with a lot of edits, since Panzoid isn't powerful at all and it's online, I would recommend um, having it to 720p instead of 1080p. Um, but the video you're recording could be 720p anyway, so yeah. And either put in 60fps or 30fps, depending on what you're recording. And also, I find like the quality is better, and, and, but it takes longer, but that's because that's how the quality would be better. But just use a fastest render, that makes everything better, I guess, better than um, good quality or anything. Time to add um, files in. You click on the select files. Here I have some things I'm gonna use as an example. Here's a Minecraft clip. There's a cucumber and a song. Um, so basically to add, oh, I'll get the intro while I'm at it. And I add it on my desktop, one second guys. So I added it in there. There's the intro. So you just drag it on, you just click and drag over to there. And then if you wanna zoom in your timeline, this is what you call the timeline. It's where your videos and music are displayed on. So zoom in, you click that zoom in button, zoom out. There's the delete clips where you can just do it with it, pressing the normal delete button. And then that split clips where I'll get, which I'll get to. There's the um, play button. And yeah, you can press play button by pushing space and everything, but yeah. So there's the intro. Um, you just drag your clip onto it after. Then if you drag it over just a bit, to red, that's perfectly fine. It won't cut off anything. But like, if you don't do that in green, it could be like black space in between, as you can see there. See, a little flash, but yeah. So there's that. Like, I record in 1080p and this is in 720p, so make it down. Just click on the edit buddy button and I'll show you all this later. But then this is what you do. Click on size, 1280 or whatever one you have it in by 720. And then, yeah, change the position. You, well, you can just drag it around and everything and then make it bigger if you want to. Control Z doesn't actually work on this, on Windows, which makes, which takes what you just, the last action you did back. So if you accidentally move it, you just click zero, zero, which is middle on both sides, up and down, up and to the side, I mean. So cover the sides. I'll show the rotations, basically how it moves to the side. 50, minus 50, it's kind of, obvious I think you get it now opacity this is I don't really like this effect it's not even an effect actually but it's what you do you just go like zero point and then if you want to do like half the opacity there go it goes two times darker and then you can like do it like 0 0.75 and etc so now I'll show you that I'll show you how to do text you click, click on this text bring it down to where you want and then there we have that you click on it, make sure to click on it to edit. Then you, oh, and you can only edit once it's paused. So like that, and you go click on the font you want. You can click, do custom fonts, but there's, the quality is bad. Well, it's pretty bad actually. 
So click on the one you want, say I wanted this one, and then you can change the colors over here, whatever one you want, then just write what you want. Um, write want you want. Yep, and then you have that. You can position it wherever you want. And yeah, so now on to cutting. So to cut something, say if I want it to appear on the screen now, but I want to cut, and then you want to stop it right here. You go over and click this button, and then it deletes it. Say you want to cut out like a bit of a long clip, and you want to keep the other bits, that's what you do. You go, say if you want to start the cut here, press it, then click on the other side, go to where you want to stop it, stop, slit again, delete, drag, and then it's done. Say if I want to lower the volume of something, like I added in music, and see how it's too loud, you click on it, edit, and then on, it'll say volume, it has this on video tracks too. Then you go just to what you want it to be, like 0 0.03. And then you have it and everything. Okay, now onto effects. You click on the clip you want to add an effect to. And then th there's a big range of effects, like um, um, negative colors, which it does that. It kind of looks bad. You're going to change how much and everything. But yeah, there's that, grayscale. I won't explain all of it, but yeah, it's, most of them are kind of obvious. I'll show you the main ones. So chroma key makes everything look looks weird and everything. Actually, that's not the main one. I was thinking about something else. RGB shift. Yeah, this is effective, really cool. Like I've done this in one of my montages for Minecraft and it makes everything look cool. And like, yeah, I'd usually put it once you win something. So you have a bunch of things. Another one, important one is box blur. And then you can change how much you want it. Like you can make 10, but then that just looks dumb because the type of blur they used is really, really poor. So there's all these, basically you just click on one and then you can change how much you want it. Usually how much size you want it to see, like just go two and then like one, and then yeah, you can just change everything. So I'll let you look through that if you want to. So now I think we've looked through it. Let me see, make sure I did. Yep, I'm pretty sure I went through it all. So I already, um, oh, sorry for that. I already went through the best settings for rendering, which I'll say it again. Fastest render, that makes everything good, trust me. And then 720p and 60 FPS, as long as you're, you're gonna be editing a lot. Because if you like did something in 1080p and it wasn't rendering and you wanna take it down, you have to resize all the um, clips. So it's not very good. Don't mess around with the format, just keep it MKV because MKV, you can still upload it onto YouTube. Um, so yeah, once you're done with that, you just click start render. And guys, I may have like, as you can see in the timeline here, I may have accidentally deleted like everything. So I had to just add the footage back and it's like 1080p. So it's, everything's gonna be out of proportion, but then just doing it as an example. So yep, wait for it to download. And it comes up on here, save it wherever you want and I'll um, catch back to it once I've saved it. So as you can see, I've saved it and it's here. You just want to click on it and then you can watch it back. Yeah, so there's that. As you can see, it's all like pixelated and everything here because like I've chosen really bad settings. It took like a minute to render. So it's obviously not going to be a good job. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, just leave it down in the comments. Um, if you need um, any help with the effects or if it's not rendering, I'll try to answer it. I always go back to your comments. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. See ya. Bye. Oh, and I also help, hope it helped, but I don't know if I said that. Oh, well, I'm holding you up. See ya. Bye.